You mentioned NVIDIA. There was a piece of news this morning that doesn't look particularly good for them. I regard it as very disappointing. Their ability to close that arm transaction. I regard it as disappointing. The UK saying, hey, we've got some issues. Secretary of State believes, and this is in the UK, by the way, may or may uh, be the case that the interests of national security being a public interest consideration specified in Section 58.1 of the Act are relevant to be a consideration of the relevant merger situation. They're taking a close look at it. It's not officially blocked, so to speak. No. But that last um, line, David, it does is, sound... It is uh, what we would say a significant impediment to the ability of NVIDIA to potentially complete this transaction right now. But you know what, Carl, that's amazing about NVIDIA? If you go over, and I don't know whether the intervention notice covers this, I have it. If you go over the most recent, recent line of, tri of chips, Carl, many of them are ARM, they're, they're ARM derivatives. So maybe there's a Trojan horse here. Maybe, Carl, that the reason why NVIDIA went up 140 points is that merger or not, they have access to ARM technology. And ARM is considered to be superior to everybody. So I, I continue to like NVIDIA here, even though the stock's off badly. This is the winner. I don't know whether there's others that have been great. Semiconductor Capital Equipment's been good. Micron's been good. Uh, so I continue to like this group. Applied Materials. Uh, amazing, had them on. And then AMD versus Intel. We're going to find out what Pat Gelsinger really has going with Intel, Carl. And it's going to be fireworks because he likes to very subtly trash the competition. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, NVIDIA still has the ability to... Uh throw a chill over some Intel investors, and we're going to find out uh, more about the quarter when they print Jim on Thursday night. Yes. It's going to be a busy one. I think we got almost 80 uh, S&Pers this week. Yeah, they refused to break it up. Uh, I remember w I, when Hewlett Packard decided to change it because they wanted to be able to take Christmas vacation. I always thought that was great. I mean, this, the bunch of every, you, you lose sight, David, on Thursday. On Thursday, you know that we do, I would say, a suboptimal job on 80 companies because you just can't do your work. No, you have to pick and choose. You you kind of try and cover everything, which well, is I mean, impossible. Coca-Cola reported a really great quarter this morning. Yeah, well, and that, pe that one are you we're going to actually hear from. I mean, we can focus on that because there aren't too many other companies reporting, and we're going to hear from the CEO. Why right? don't we go to Coca-Cola after the break? Dude? All right, that sounds like good. Well, first, let's go back to Carl, <laughs> and then let's let, let him tell us that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.